That's what I love about what we do is, at the end of the day, I want to move people. We're our first audience. If I'm standing there watching this thing and feeling the way I do, then I feel like an audience is going to do that. I have been an admirer and a fan of yours for a very long time. And to be sitting here with you in the aftermath of like your crowning achievement, is just my pleasure. I appreciate that. And the fact that we're sitting here as directors uh, after having admired your work for so long, um, to be able to be a part of, of this and your, your new incredible journey into this very small sisterhood um, is really beautiful. How did you know that this was the first film that you were going to do, that this is going to be your debut as a director? How did you make that choice? I didn't. It chose me. And I think that is how I will continue on my journey as a director. It will have to choose me. I didn't want to be a director. Really? I have to tell. No, I wasn't. I think I always wanted to, but not in this moment. Mm -hmm. I think to direct and star, I had such a monster role to play, to direct myself for the first time is not what, I mean, I'm not psychotic. It's not <laughs> what he would choose to do. Yeah. But it chose me, and it was a story that sat so deeply inside my body, I fundamentally understood the character, mm. all the characters, really. All the way from UFC, Jackie Justin! Did you arrive at Woman King in a different way than you have every other film you've done, or was it the same process? It's the same process and it's really simple. It's a guttural connection okay. and it's have to. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a hundred things that we want to do. Yeah. But what the journey of directing is, those two, three years of your life, where you give absolutely every part of yourself to something, it has to mean something. Mm -hmm. And it's a have to. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, but the Woman King, it was where I wanted to go, certainly, with my career. I love historical epics and I always wanted to do our Braveheart. Mm. And then suddenly the script came. That was everything I wanted to do. And it had Viola Davis attached. You can't go wrong there, Gina. <laughs> you know, I remember with the first time I saw the original Rocky and what that meant to me, how that rearranged me and moved me, mm -hmm. even though it was a character and a story so far from where I was at that time in my life, mm -hmm. it was still the power of cinema. It moved me. Yeah. I related to Rocky. It was an every man's story, and that was me. Mm -hmm. And so I saw myself in that somehow. Mm -hmm. So years later, getting to do Bruce, I got to sort of recreate, I thought, for us, for women of color, yeah. that same experience, which mm -hmm. was one of those had to do kind mm -hmm. of moments. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. I felt like I was working through my life in this movie. It was such a cathartic experience and sort of deal with the generational trauma passed down from mother to daughter and then mother to child, mother to son. This feeling that I, I have always felt that I've had to fight for every single thing mm -hmm. that I've gotten in life. Nothing has ever once, not never, not ever been given, mm -hmm. you know, and what that means to be a warrior, what that means to fight. Mm -hmm. and fight for yourself and stand up for yourself. And so much of who I really am, I got to sort of use this movie as a vehicle to sort of funnel that. Yeah, I mean, I see it as disrupting genre, which yeah. is interesting, but just by putting us in them front and centers, disrupting the genre that we see over and over, the same folk get to be in them, get yes. to tell that story. Yes. And for us, to be able to see ourselves as warriors, as fighters, um, as heroes, yes. it's so rare. For Woman King, that was the thing as well, being able to put these women up on screen, these athletes, and mm -hmm. celebrate their athleticism yes. and show the beauty in that, which again, we're told so often, certainly in Hollywood, of, of there's a standard of femininity and beauty, yes. but we know that it's such an extraordinary breadth, yes. and how can we continue to disrupt and yes. show, show different sides of yes. And to see their power, you know, and there's beauty in all of that power mm -hmm. that they display. But also, while I was, you know, experiencing their power, I also saw their fear and their vulnerability, all those things that also make them women, mm -hmm. you know, and we're allowed to sort of exist in the totality of who we really are. We don't have to just be strong or mm -hmm. just be feminine. We can be all of those things and yeah. all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I saw that on all of their faces, mm -hmm. most of the time that they were on screen, that, that resonated with me.
What's so fascinating, and you touched on it, is some of the biggest fights is preserving those character moments, the quiet moments, especially in a genre like yours and a genre like mine. You know, some people want to just get to the action, get to those set pieces. And I feel like, yeah, the thing I had to stand in front of, lay my body in front of, were these character moments that, for me as a director, I loved doing the big oil battle, but equally loved Viola and Tuso in the scene, Lashana and Tuso, that one-on-one -on -one going to those depths. What I love about what we do is it's great therapy. Yes. And you're able to work out so much stuff that might be going on in your personal life. I mean, literally, if you look at my body work, I was going through something that is reflected in that. And Woman King, the guttural connection was both who these women were as warriors, but also the really intimate relationship between Viola and Tusa's characters. And yes. that was that guttural connection. And literally, there are scenes in there I remember we were shooting one in particular where I turned to the DP and I said, the words, the lines in this that I infused in that scene, this is what I wish I had been told as a child. And as you said, so much of that relationship is about generational trauma and how do you break that cycle, but that we are able to, in our work, go to those depths because we, as Black women, aren't often afforded that, certainly on screen, to be able to go to those depths. It's we're not often centered in the stories. Yeah. Um, and if we are in the stories, not part of the art. We fight or we die. And I remember along the way, some people said they were questioning if some of these um, themes should have been in the movie because they didn't quite get them. Mm. And I remember saying and fighting for the truth of those moments. And I thought, mm. because you don't, understand it is exactly why I have to put it in this movie. It has yeah. to come to light. It's so you can maybe understand it better mm -hmm. through going on this cinematic journey. You might understand the life of characters like mm -hmm. this, which are very close to me that I know so well. Mm -hmm. And so when people would resist that, that's when I knew, oh, I'm on the right track because mm -hmm. you might actually learn something. You might actually have a different perspective about um, a, a culture, a, a state of being before mm -mm. you saw this movie. Mm -mm. You might actually change. You mm -hmm. might actually grow in some way. And that's the reason, I think, for making art and making movies sometimes, is to help people see another side of something. And why it's so important for us to be at the helm. Yes. I mean, yeah, female I, gaze, female exactly. point of view. And for me, I absolutely believe talent has no gender. Yes. But there is something different that we bring to the table as women, as black women. And, yeah. But the True. experience was so beautiful to be on that set with this incredible artist, black women in front and behind the camera telling this, like, is it ever going to be that good again? But I do know I still have stories to tell. There's still genres I want to disrupt. Like, I want us in every single genre, and certainly, I can, you, you got to do that with Bruised, and I'm curious, yeah, what, what drives you? Like, what do you want to continue to do? Disrupt. I want to continue to tell stories that, like you said, that just move me. Yeah. You know, I've now learned, having directed a film, what a huge undertaking it is. I so enjoyed being more than the dancing bear. <laughs> I so enjoyed having, I have been, I got to put my point of view from a black woman into the world. Mm -hmm. And there's so many more stories, like you said, that I want to put that stamp on. Mm -hmm. I want to continue to fight, be courageous, take chances. I've mm -hmm. always taken chances my whole career. I always believe if you don't, yeah. you know, risk big, you don't win big. And sometimes with that mentality, you, you can seemingly fail just as big, but there are no failures, right? It's mm -hmm. just lessons and a chance to you know, do something again. Mm -hmm. And I want to continue to do that. And whatever that is, that will be. I don't even have an idea what my next movie will be. I know I've been looking, but nothing has, nothing has grabbed me like, like Bruce did. And I know it has to grab, like, grab my soul yeah. for me to want to spend, uh, like you said, two years away from my children, working. Like, I really have to want to do it. Like, that's, again, as artists, isn't our job to... Mm -hmm. to change how people feel and think, change perception and our ability to, to make movies. And I love that you are, are here now to be able to, 
to change the way people feel about women, how they see women, how we see ourselves. That's what disrupting genre, I think, really means to me. I have someone to, you know, look up to and to uh, aspire to uh, follow in your footsteps. You set the bar really high for your first one. And <laughs> I know how we are and how we function. There's no going backwards, so I know you're just going to keep getting better and better. And But I do really hope that we do have that opportunity to work together. You call me anytime. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing my day job. <laughs>